Smalls was rescued last fall, I'm thinking October, from Spirit of the Hills, which was a sanctuary in South Dakota that went under. She came here with a bunch of other cats. <laughs> what are you after now? Oh, I see it. There goes the little bird she was after. You missed it. He got away. There was Josie and Sassy Cougars, and then Smalls, Nabisco, Dryden, and Polona, all bobcats that were rescued from that facility. Yes, Lee, this is Smalls, and she thinks that lizard's still under there. And there may be another one under there, but I think the one she was after got away. She's definitely on the hunt today. I really like that they have such a naturalistic enclosures here that they can play with trees and hide in the ferns and chase the squirrels and the lizards. You are adorable, Smalls. Do you hear those nails go into that wood? <laughs> Love that little bobcat tail. Where'd you go? There she is. Jean, I was just over there checking on the two new cats, Lakota and Sue, this morning when the morning tour was going by. I looked way up in the top of the tree and noticed that Lakota was up at the very tippy tippy top at the ceiling. And apparently the people on the tour didn't even realize that he was there, which I'm sure was what he was uh, counting on. And then I didn't see Sue, but I talked to Catherine who said that she had gone and checked with a flashlight to make sure they were both in their enclosures this morning. I was a little bit worried about Sue because she is such a tiny, skinny little cat. It was like, man, is she gonna go right through the four by four wire? But apparently not. Smalls looks like she is focused on something on that tree. Might have a Nat Geo moment here. Yeah, they're watching, go ahead, go for it. Can you get the lizard? Is it a lizard? Not worth it. Is your pan all over everything? Yeah, marking it all over again. Find some enrichment.
I saw Babs and Candy handing out enrichment a minute ago.